<laughs> Vice President Kalonzo Musioka was the first senior government official at the scene of the air disaster. When he spoke, the Vice President confirmed the country's worst fears. The two internal security ministers and all the other occupants of the ill-fated aircraft were no more. Thank you. Well, I said those who are on board, and, and there are no survivors, we are six. Prime Minister Raila Odinga cancelled an ODM rally in Nakuru and detoured to the crash site. On behalf of the president and the government of Kenya, we want to offer our sincere condolences to the families and relatives. Deputy Prime Minister Uhuru Kenyatta also cancelled TNA meetings in Laisamis upon receiving the tragic news. Pole kwa jami, pole kwa bibi na watoto, na ya kwamba, wajue ya kwamba tunawambea. Even in as far as Mount Elgon, Eldred North MP William Ruto cut short a function where the Sabao translated Bible was launched. The same in Transzoia where Deputy Prime Minister Musalia Mudavadi put off sheltered events for his UDF party. In solidarity with the families of uh, the deceased, we will postpone every other function until further notice so that we can mourn the demise of our colleagues and friends and leaders in our country. And uh, My deepest sympathies and condolences to uh, the family. And then colleagues, friends and family gathered at the Lee funeral home where the remains of the deceased lay. Too much to bear for the later Jordan's wife. Indeed, we are saddened by his tragic loss. Mimi pia ningependa sana kuungana na wenzetu ambao washa tuma rambirambi zao kutokana na kifu ya gafla ya waziri saitoti, waziri ojode. President Kibaki has called a special session of the cabinet at 10 a.m. tomorrow at the KICC. Assistant ministers have also been invited to attend the special cabinet session. Saitoti's last public appearance was at the Forum on Peaceful Elections on Friday in Mombasa together with Ojode, where the minister made a long, passionate speech on police reforms and promising that the security apparatus was ready to deliver a peaceful vote for Kenyans. And I hope now that we have met here, now that I have flagged the issue and the request, can we do that so that we move? Because lack of finalizing this one sends wrong signals. Hussein Mohammed for Sunday Live.